This video is brought to you by the good people over at Creative Cave. A home for content creators. It's a place where creators can come in and work on their solo projects or collaborations just like ours. So if you're looking for a space to shoot your next branded deal, edit your videos, or even a home base for your next business, make sure to go to creativecave.com.au. Find the promo codes below AMAXCC for a half day, AMAXCC2 for a full day. More information in the description below. That's exclusive. Yo, what's up, everyone? You're tuning into AMAs at Creative Cave. I'm AJ. I'm Rennie Simf. And today we got El Fresh the Lion in the house. Let's go. Just to sort of kick us off, we, we thought it'd be cool to start with a bit of a fun game. This is called Draft Day, which... I, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. We're all kind of avid NBA fans yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Boy. All right. <laughs> Get it. All right. So, you got here's, here's the, name, the name of the game is draft day. Here's what you got to do you got to pick two people. It's a three on three match. So, it's three on three on three. And um, you go first. I'll go second. Rennie, you go third. Yeah. And then round two, you pick another player. And then I'll pick another player. And then you go. Is last. there errors? Any error, oh. any player at their prime. Oh, well then, if I'm going first, I'm taking MJ. All right. Bro, what the hell kind of question is that? All right. It's it's I'm going game. LeBron. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go Kawhi Leonard because of his laugh. That's it. Ooh. I'm going for his play, right. <laughs> for his skill. He's there for the, for the good the times. Laugh, man. All right. Nice. All right. You got, you got second. All right, so I got second. You got um, fourth pick. I don't know if I should go like a – should I go point guard? Because I'm kind of like a big – I'm trying to win, man. I'm trying to win. <laughs> Yo, who's the, who's the second highest scoring NBA player of all time? We're not helping you, bro. Oh, you take a What's big that guy, man, What's that guy up? from the Celtics that was a meme for like four years straight? You know, that redhead guy? What? Oh, Scalabrini. Pick the white Mamba. Pick the white Mamba. Pick him, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> man, there's too many. I'll, I'll, I'll pick Kobe then. I'll pick right. Kobe. I'll pick all Kobe. Right. All right, I'm tossing up between Hakeem or KD. Okay. Um, But it's three on three. And I feel like the three point shot is a bigger weapon, so I'm saying KD. All right, all right. The ranch is yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is tough. You know what? You know what I think will be an interesting pair to watch is LeBron and and Pippen. Yeah, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> so out of the th out of the three of us, so I got as me, LeBron, and Pippen. You said MJ and KD. KD, and you said Kawhi and Kobe. Kobe, who? Let's be honest, who's winning? Bro, M you're not losing with MJ I'm, on your team. I'm I don't care. Out, I'm walking out of there a winner, man. Uh, bro, <laughs> you never play me like bro. LeBron versus Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Twenty years, yeah. whatever. Bro, bro. <laughs> you're talking about social uh, awkward laughs, man. I, I want it, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> if we're talking about memes, you got yeah, yeah, yeah totally. You got best. Yeah, you got totally. best. You got best. You know, with the teams that we pick, right? We are the non-factor. Yeah, like we suck. Like, oh, I'm guarding. I'm I'm definitely guarding like, MJ though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we went. I just Damn. gotta, I just gotta drop this story really quickly. So we we were on the edge a couple of weeks ago, um, and they were asking us about like dream producers to like produce our album. And I went, you know what? I, I'm not sure about producer, but I might get Jay Z to executive, executive produce. And case where I was like. Oh, so you wouldn't have Jay-Z on the album? And I was like, man, if he behaves. And as soon as I said that, I was like, why would I say that <laughs> <laughs> on radio? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, you want to? Yeah. So look, look the, the fun and games are over. Okay, now this time it's draft day for the Southwest. Give us, give us a show of that jersey real quick, man. Give us a show of that hoodie, man. Mm. Yes. 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 Southwest. That camera, that camera. Yes. All Every camera, man. It's the Southwest <laughs> draft day. You got two picks. Mm. For musicians, mm. who are you gonna choose, man? Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. I mean, there's so much dope talent in Southwest Sydney, especially at the moment, mm. right? Mm. So, uh, what's what's the purpose? What are we saying? We just saying generally. This is like you're representing like Sydney, man. Yeah, you're representing Sydney, Australia. You got the wave, you know? So yeah. who's riding that wave with you? Mm. Man, this is tough. I mean, there's so many people that can be excluded out of this list. That's the, that's the bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to get you in trouble here. Yeah, you're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm trying to bring the Southwest together. You're trying to make me tear it apart, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Look, man, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to start with B-Wise. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say B-Wise because, man... 
that dude is hungry right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's always been hungry, but like it's it's on a whole other level right now. Yeah. And um you know, I my my story with him is that, you know, when I was in high school, there was this group that was popping and they were doing some stuff that nobody else that I saw in the scene was doing. Mm. And I could relate to them because they were from Southwest Sydney and that was K1. Yeah. Right? And that's a big thing. And B-Wise popped off with K1, right? So, you know, he was a part of that group. And so the first time I met B-Wise properly, we were on a, a magazine cover for the music together because we both got booked to play the plot festival in Parramatta. Yep. And so it was a photo shoot, myself, B-Wise, Nairi, and Sampa. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I was I was chatting to B and we'd obviously heard, each other, heard of each other and, and mm-hmm. whatnot. And I was like, bro, I got to tell you a story. And I told him the whole thing. I was like, bro, when I was in high school, K-1 was my shit. Like, mm-hmm. just in terms of who I was inspired by in terms of what they were doing like they were making these dope music videos they were styling like mm. and they were doing these like sold out shows like bef- in the area before anybody was doing yeah, it man. Yeah. how long ago was this well we're talking about high school so i'm talking like well, i was 14 15 so maybe like 15 years ago okay cool 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 um and that was that was so dope so i mean i gotta pay respect to to that level of inspiration for me from like a local area perspective mm. yeah um and you know i know b wise is 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 kind of he's on a roll now he's he's gonna be killing it for a minute Mm -hmm. um so i'm gonna say b wise and then man i'm gonna stick with um jessica jade uh shout out to jessica jade i've known jess since she was about 14 15. yep i think she's a she's a street uni fan right there she's a star she's been a star since since the day i met her and before that you know like I remember uh, meeting her when she was about 14 and, um, uh, you know, Street Uni was asking me to, to mentor her. And I think I was in Melbourne at the time or yeah. something like that. And I, w- I, I, I'd pop back in the area uh, on a trip and I went to, you know, and I kept saying to, you know, whenever Street Uni would hit me up, I'd be like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Like, let's do it. Um, you know, let's, let's hook up a meeting, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it just never eventuated. And then when I was in the area, I just popped in and she happened to be there with her mom. Mm. And so they intro me and I was like, dog, they were like, you got to come around the house. I was like, sweet. So I went around to the house and we just sat down with Jess. I was like, Jess, all right, like, what do you want? What do you want to do? Like, tell me a bit about yourself. Like, what's, what's the goal? And she just like pulled out this notebook and she was like, this is my business plan. This is my branding. Mm-hmm. This is my logo. This is what I want to do. This is what I represent. I was like, yo, 14? Yeah, man. Yo. You, you can't even go back and pretend like I had one when I was fourteen. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, can't, exactly. I can't do that, man. Like, wow. I was like, wow, man. I was like, from that moment, I was like, okay, like, whatever you need. Yeah, you know wow. what I mean. Yeah. Um, and and that's the thing. Like, I, th- I think that's what Southwest Sydney, you know, breeds is a level of commitment to your craft, mm-hmm. and and a hustle. Yeah. You know. I yeah. Um, and Hustle so, is a really important hundred oh, percent. So, yeah. man, if I had to pick my team, those two, like, I'm, I'm excluding so many people. But and uh, and you know, you asked me the same question in ten minutes. I probably pick two different people. Yeah. Like just because there's so much love for the area. But for right, right now, now, what you're saying, but is, just in this moment, yeah, that's just what I feel inspired to say. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what you're saying is, it's be wise, Jessica J, and nobody else. <laughs> you don't fuck with nobody else out of Southwest. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> 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 no, that's cool, man. That's. <laughs> I think it's really cool that. You know, we're able to sort of, because I, I, I know Jessica Jade, like, I, I've seen her sort of come up and things like that mm. from the area. It's really cool to sort of, you know, continue hearing her name. Yeah. Um, like you said, this is back when she was 14 years old, and, like, she's still sort of coming up, doing some, doing some yeah, cool things. Yeah, she's 20, 21 now, and she's, every song she makes is, like, it's just getting better and better. Yeah, mm. for sure, for and sure. And that's man, mad props to her, man. She's a star, bro. Yeah. Be wise as well, like it's it's really it's really yeah. dope. Yeah. Um, but like no, it's really cool to see like who you would sort of put on your team like that. Obviously, we can't have everybody on. Um, but you know, in that perspective, when it comes to being a musician, being a rapper, um, your poetry, your word, obviously would mean a lot to you. Um, and we're talking about bars here, you know. So, what's your favorite? What's your favorite bar that you've written? 
and kind of give us a bit of insight, you know, as to what might have been some of the, some of you know old freshers. <laughs> Heavy hitting lyrics, <laughs> being and what was the thought process? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you, bro. I mean, I, music is such a love for me. Yeah, like yeah. I get excited about you know for sure. bars for days, you know, like <laughs> and so. But I'm a mad critic of my own shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, the, for sure. But the one I'm a, and again, like, bro, ask me again in ten minutes. My answer is gonna be different. But for what I'm feeling right now, I'm gonna give you a bar that on a song that we haven't even put out yet, but Ooh. um. I say my survival lessons were infused with turmeric and some cumin seeds. And I, I speak about it in the context of the song is like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, my come up. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know, like being from Southwest Sydney and like being um, born to immigrant parents. And, and like, you know, when you're, when you're a kid from immigrant parents, like sometimes you know, I, I don't know about for you guys, but for, for me, it was like my parents would always tell me, you know, watch out for this, watch out for that. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. being such a, a visible um, person in terms of wearing a turban and having a beard and stuff like that, you know, they'd be like, you know, you always got to watch over your shoulder. You always got to be careful, of, you know, some dude, like ignorant dude or, you know, mm. like he's going to pop off and they'll tell stories about like how such and such, you know, um, uncle and their kid like got, you know, jumped from behind and yeah, the turban crazy. Was, like you know yeah. what i mean like yeah, so absolutely and but at the same token they would also instill in me values of like how they came up and you know how hard they had to work as um as 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 people having migrated to australia with very little yeah you know in order for me and my mm -hmm. younger brother to be able to to live our lives that we wanted yeah. so when i say you know my survival lessons were infused with turmeric and some cumin seeds i mean those are like healing things you know yep. first and foremost yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but like that's the smell from the kitchen, bro. That's right. Like, that's know? right. Oh man, <laughs> that's the vibe. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, and that to me kind of sums up a bit about, you know, that bar sums up a lot of what I'm about. You know, it's, hip hop is always about what can you bring to the table. What's yeah. your original element? You that's know, right, it's like what yeah. story can you tell? And so, you know, that bar sums up for me Southwest Sydney and the uh, Punjabi Indian culture. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Course. Man, that stuff gets me going, man. You know, when we write about very personal things that aren't very mainstream. You know, you don't hear you don't hear these two words in, you know. And no one else I know is talking about <laughs> turmeric and cumin. Just wait, bro. Man. The hipsters look, are coming. Look, yeah, that's that's right, you go to Coles, bro. Look, you see turmeric right, in the health food section now. They got a bag. It's <laughs> like right. turmeric powder. <laughs> like, <God damn>. you <laughs> know, superfood. Bro, yeah. they coming. Yeah. <laughs> what up? You are watching AMAs at Creative Cave. Such a dope vibe. Make sure you check the links in the description. Subscribe, like, share, do all that shit. You know what to do. My name is Elfresh the Lion. It's been nothing but a pleasure to be here. Make sure you check in with these guys again and again because what they're doing is dope. Much love, much peace.